Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be completing our final challenge, and that is getting true clay. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, here we are again, back with some more Ultimate Alchemy, and we are getting very close, and I think today will probably be our last episode. I do believe we could, I, I'm pretty sure we can get everything done today. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started. Draconic Evolution. Yes, I've already gotten our power ball set up. I only went with a tier four because it's probably all we're going to need. Um, there's no need for me to kind of push this any larger. So a tier four is going to work out just fine. Um, if you don't know how this works, I have so many videos covering how to set up the actual draconic energy core uh, for power. Uh, so we're going to be using that to, uh, you know, just have that power storage backed up. So when we start working with upgrading and especially making Awakened Draconium, will have the power available because this requires like 350 million RF uh, to complete one block, which I mean, or complete four blocks. So um, that's something we're gonna have to work on. So let's go ahead and just get started with this. Uh, we're first gonna need the actual core itself. Where is, where is that? There it is, right here. And we're gonna need some draconic core, some lapis. I do believe we have enough lapis. Let's just go ahead and make four blocks. Bit of crafting that's going to go on today, uh, but that's just the nature of what Draconic Evolution is. There's also going to be a lot of just waiting for things to craft, um, because right here we're going to need nine in basic infusion injectors, I do believe, and we need to actually craft those. So if we go to cores, um, we should be able to open this up, and we're going to need, you know, a good amount. I'm going to do 30 for right now. Looks like we're missing some gold. So a good way to get gold... I do believe that is um, going to be 10 in an induction smelter, 10 and yeah, glowstone. So we'll just grab a bit of that and a chest. Maybe we don't, maybe we need more. I'm just going to, I totally forgot that we're going to need quite a bit of this. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll just set up automation for this to run. Bam. We will get rid of you. We'll have a chest on this side, chest on this side. I'm going to show you how to set this up. Chest here, chest there. We'll clear this out. We'll do input chest on this side. Output chest over here. There we go. And uh, we need to lock one of these. So we'll lock glowstone into this slot. And there we go. So now glowstone should always go in there and tin should always go in the other slot. Perfect. That should work. Grab some more tin and some more glowstone just to make sure a lot of gold is being produced. And there we go. We have some gold being made. So yeah, we need a couple of those. Um, we need to kind of wait for that to process. As I said, there's gonna be a little bit of waiting. But let's see how many we can actually make. So, for each one of these, we need nine, right? So we're already out of gold. Bummer. All right. That'll give us eight. That's okay. Eight will be fine. Um, we need iron blocks as well. I think I have iron blocks. Ready to go. So let's just go ahead and get this bad boy placed and set up. I'm going to raise this one up off the ground. It's just something that I want to do. Just my personal preference. You don't have to do that. I'm also going to place these around each other, probably all together, uh, just so it makes it a little easier on me. Now we got to be careful with these guys. We need them to be placed at a certain angle. There we go. And then they'll work. All right, so back over to our gold. Let's just see how much more we have. Like I said, we're gonna need quite a bit of it, so it's gonna be nice to have this. Let's go ahead and make one more. And that should allow us to make our ninth one. The reason we need nine is because we're gonna use one to upgrade, and that's about it. All right, so that's all set up. 
Now we need to upgrade this, so we're gonna need some wiring cores, some more draconic cores, and really, I just have to wait um, to get each one of those going. We do need to get power on the back, so might as well do that. So let's grab some points. And I do believe we have a configurator. I don't believe I've made one of those yet, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll choose our network. Now I have two networks. So clay power out. Make sure that's ticked off on the transfer rate. We'll just smack all these onto the back and hit them with the configurator. And last but not least, that one. All right, perfect. So everything's done. All we gotta do now is wait for a little bit of gold and we should be ready to go. So now we should have everything to be able to get this bad boy upgraded to at least the wyvern tier and then we're gonna go from there. Um, so the wyvern tier, I have all the wyvern cores that we're going to need for this. Um, we need one apiece, right? Isn't it one wyvern? Yeah, one wyvern block of draconium, and we need nine apiece. So we need 18 draconium cores. Um, the wyvern core, technically we would need a total in draconic cores. We need a total of like 54, I do believe, um, because I think it's including the nine wyvern cores, which require four draconic cores apiece. Um, and then we're going to need a few diamond. So let's go ahead and grab some diamond. Now, when it comes to the diamond, we need four, and we need at least four in each slot here, and we need nine in each. So we can technically split this up or we can not even worry about it if we don't want to worry about it, but I'm gonna leave it like so. Um, and then we're gonna need the draconium and that's gonna need to be a block and we're gonna need nine of those. So nine, and then we're also gonna need the 18 cores split into two sections and then the wyvern cores, which we're only gonna need nine for. So just like that, um, last but not least, we're just going to need to take one of the basic cores here and we're going to swap some things around. So let's go ahead and do that. So this goes here. We'll take these into our inventory. Bam. And we'll just keep, you know, throwing them in. Same with this and the last three. This should leave us with one empty space. And basically what we got to do is take this and well, turn it in. And that's going to start filling with power and that should get our first step done. And that is going to be changing all of these to the Wyvern tier. And yeah, you can actually acceleration one this if you really want to. Um, once we get to this point right here during the crafting phase, you can acceleration one that um, during the speed up phase. The only way you could technically accelerate this is if you had a way to accelerate each and every injector because they do technically have a limit on how much power can go through them. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's something that they, they do have, but you'd have to accelerate that whole thing. So moving into the next tier, since we got them all upgraded now, um, we need to make a dragon heart to make the awakened draconium. Normally you'd have to, of course, kill the dragon, but in this case, we won't be doing that. We just have to craft it, which is kind of a little cute recipe here um, to make the dragon heart. I'm assuming we're gonna need probably two of those in total. I don't think we're gonna need any more awakened draconium than that, but we might later on, I, I have no idea. We'll go with the flow. So let's go ahead and make the awakened draconium. Uh, for that, we're gonna need some more cores. Uh, this, I'm just gonna go ahead and make, what, 24 maybe, if I can? Yeah, we're just gonna make a few of these um, because, you know, inevitably this right here isn't gonna take too much to make. It does require six cores, I do believe, two, yeah, six. And then of course, four draconium blocks. So a bit more draconium, which we of course have that like nearly inf infinitely producing at the, this point. So there we go. We'll take our cores and we have our dragon hearts now. So I'm just gonna place the hearts in the center here. Might as well place both of them, right? And then we need six total slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you don't have to have four a piece. It's just, I'm using an example. I can do this a few times. Now this actually uses a lot of power. This process to make this is 350 million RF right here to, uh, to do this. So this does take a little bit of RF. So you do need some stored up and there we go. Awaken draconium. And then of course we can do it one more time. 
to get a little bit more in there just to make sure we have enough awakened draconium for some of these other crafts in the future. Um, I may even do this a couple more times. We only need a couple more dragon hearts, right? Might do this four times. We have enough for it. Why not? So for our next step, we're going to be upgrading these guys to the draconium version or the waking draconium version. Uh, or it's called the draconic version, I guess you could say. Uh, the draconic tier. Really, we're going to need to upgrade all of these. And that's all we're basically doing today is really just upgrading. This is the point we're at. Um, you're going to need your setup similar to this. We're going to need nine blocks to get these things fully upgraded because I think we need a total of nine or eight of the chaotic ones. So technically we would only need maybe eight of these. Let's take a look. So with the Draconic, technically we to get this upgraded to as many as we need, it looks like we only need six. So technically, we don't have to go any further than this. We can literally just make the eight that we have or the six that we have. Well, no, we're gonna have to upgrade all of them. I'm pretty pretty sure because if we look at the, the later uh, tiers for this to get to the clay, it's yeah, we have we have to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we're gonna need all nine. So never mind. Don't don't yeah, we're gonna use all nine. So split these up. And yeah, I just have to repeat this process. The same as I did for the other ones. And uh, just get these bad boys upgraded. Very simple. There we go. And yeah, it's just a waiting game. So now that all those are done, we need to make the chaos. So let's take a look at this. With Draconic. How to make the chaos. You could go this way and make the lumps, lumps of uh, Gagador, but I don't think that's necessary when you could do it this way and just use the dragon egg to upgrade. Um, we still need a couple more buckets of the void that I need to get in here. What is it? Not coid, void. That I had built up from earlier. And then this guy is going super fast with the eggs. Let's go back over here and check this. I think I need one more bucket to get us as many as we need to get this thing upgraded. And that's just making dragon eggs for us. All right, so back over here. Let's take a look at this again. We just need diamonds and a chaos. This is gonna require a chaos shard and some awakened draconium with some entropy. That shouldn't be too hard. Chaos shards, you can get those from pulverizing the bedrock. Yeah, which is the uh, quadruple compressed, isn't it? Is it not quadruple? I know we've made some already. Uh, quadruple, yeah, so the quadruple compressed. Let's see, do we have any? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we already have six, we already have a whole stack of it. So we can just throw this inside of a pulverizer, which we of course have here. And that should just make what we need. Chaos shards. <laughs> Literally the easiest chaos shards anyone will ever have to make. Um, absolutely <laughs> unbelievably easy. So there's our chaos shards. You can't, can't go wrong with these. Um, and all we gotta do is upgrade. So let's go ahead and work on making these shards. Uh, this just requires some awakened draconium. I hope I have enough. Awaken Draconium for all of these. I mean, I guess might as well use all of it because we have nothing else to use it on. But we're going to need at least nine of these for the chaotic cores. Can we get this? Can we make nine of them? We can. There's nine of those. Do we have at least nine dragon eggs? Oh, we still need one more bucket. One more bucket. I had buckets in my inventory. Nice. All right. Are we missing the void seed? We're missing a void seed. If we are missing a void seed, that's absolutely hilarious that we're just getting hung up on waiting for a seed. Ugh. 
let's just get some uh, bone mill in. Yep, you guys are going to have to suffer with me. Suffer with me through breaking grass. Let's go over to our super animal area. We literally have to break some grass until we get a void seed. Which I find absolutely hilarious. I love how cactus also spawns from here, but I mean, you have to have it done that way. Come on, give me a void seed. It's like just the same drop rate as everything else, but you just never get it. I mean, I assume the drop rates are the same. I don't really know. But, yep, we gotta go through this. So, this bad boy should be ready to go. All we gotta do is dump a bucket over here for the last egg. And yeah, this goes super fast because we have four <laughs> mechanical users running on this bad boy. And there we go, there's our dragon eggs. Alright, so, the only other thing we need now is diamond. Which has been running for a very long time now. And we're just going to divide that up. If I can divide correctly. And I think it was four, right? Draconic. Yes, four. Yep. Looks like four to me. Oh boy. Like, we are already at this point. Oh, I'm super excited. Like, this pack has been so much fun. There we go. And yeah, I just have to upgrade all nine of these to this form. Which, technically, I can do these top three first. So we don't need them right away. I can throw them all in here. It does it one at a time. You, of course, have to pull the one out. Or, you can just put a hopper at the bottom and a timer at the top and it will automatically work. So you just put a clock. So we don't really have to worry about it, right? You just let it go. It'll automatically go, put the one in the bottom <laughs> and we just kind of let this thing do its own thing for right now. Pretty nice. So guys, I think this has been the easiest chaotic fusion and craft or crafting injectors I've ever had to make. Uh, kind of, considering it took the whole, you know, pack to get here and all these machines with some crazy weird automation going on, thanks to, to Timma. Um, but we've, we've get, gotten here. <laughs> so, it's all about that clay, right? We need to get to this point. So we need to make sure we have everything ready to go. A piece of cobblestone, a piece of wood, a piece of grass, a piece of nether quartz, um, uh, emerald. So... Let's just get everything in hand and make sure we have everything. So cobble, first of all, cobblestone, grass, which we have that over here. Do do do. Let's go to our automation section. And in the back is technically grass. So there's grass. We need wood. Any piece of wood will do. All right. Wood, emerald, lapis, nether quartz. So a piece of lapis. Quartz. Of course, we've had tons of that from Batania. I love how all these pieces are like coming together at the end and you're like, oh yeah, each one of these things had its own individual step that we had to go through to make. The Wither Skeleton Skull. Perfect. I'm glad we still had one of those. Um, And Pot Soil and a Diamond. I love how all of these are like memorable parts that I had to do, I had to make. Uh, mycelium, Pot Soil. Did I make Pot Soil? I remember having to do that. That is Empowered Oil. No, I actually never had to do that, but I mean, I know how to make empowered oil. The empowered oil. Yeah. Let's get, um, let's just do that. Might as well. Yeah, we have the crystallized canola. And you take crystallized canola, put it in the center, 
and surround it by more crystallized canola, right? Or is it no? You take this, surrounded by regular canola. Regular canola. I wonder how much one of these actually, it should make one. And that's why I had this over here. So there's that. Let's get ourselves. Well, we already have one empowered canola, so there should be good there. We need to throw some canola seeds in here or some actual canola. Just get that going. It's like me having, I have to remember all this stuff going back. Uh, bucket. I guess we just, we literally just need one. There we go. Oh, it's the fermenting barrel is what we need. Canola oil bucket. Refined canola oil. Isn't that what we need? Or is it? Oh, I don't remember if it's refined canola oil or not. Thought it was refined canola oil. It's refined. It's got to be refined. All right. Let's go ahead and just uh, get some more cobble. Like I made this a few episodes ago. All right, is it the crystallized canola we throw in first? And then you throw in the empowered. There we go, and that makes the empowered. Of course, there is a way to automate that. Um, very redstone based. And then we take this and a piece of dirt, right? One piece of dirt. We can do that bad boy over here. Kind of break the break the automation that's going on over here. That should work. We need one piece inside this. One piece with crystallized canola, or the empowered. Piece of dirt, and that filling up gives us pot soil. <laughs> nice. All right, so pot soil, that, 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 diamond, wither skeleton, skull head. Where did my wither skeleton skull head go? Is that in there? Wow, it was literally on my head. <laughs> that was so dumb. I totally shift clicked it onto my head. All right, so grass, cobblestone, and wood. Guys, all we need now is a nether star. Oh man. I am overly hyped to have gotten to this point. Overly hyped, guys. This is it. This is it. This is true clay. Nothing. It went into the hopper. <laughs> true clay. We have completed our test in this ultimate alchemy challenge. Time for us to remove all of this, get it out of the way. It's of no need for us anymore. We are done. True clay has been achieved. Our professor can uh, leave us alone now. And we should be able to click this on here. Enter the end portal to finish. Well. I guess we should do that. This, uh, yeah, this has been an experience. This has been super fun. 
Congratulations. You did it, Headmaster Timma. Well done. We have a little note here. Diploma. We've received our diploma. Things are golden. Awesome. We have our diploma now. This is uh, awesome. Examination dimension. No talking. All right. Well, I'll be quiet. Student loan bill. <laughs> License to get your ankles broken if you don't pay. Oh, gosh. Master of debt collection. Oh, I love that. I love like the little little saucy stuff he's added at the end. Really, really, really cool. I love all the Thomcraft stuff that's in here. Um, some Celtic basalt. Actually, that looks that goes really well with the Thomcraft blocks. Huh. Ancient rock. From I've not even seen that block, and I've been playing around with Thomcraft a lot lately. You know, I never noticed great wood log looks really, really good up next to the the planks. But yeah, we have beaten the pack, guys. Oh, man. We have absolutely taken over and beaten the pack. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I know a lot of you did. Um, I enjoyed getting through it. It was, uh, it was tough. I'm not used to tough packs, man. Tough packs are not really my thing. So... Uh, going through a tougher pack is was actually kind of fun and uh, really challenged my knowledge and uh, challenged some of my automation skills. So I hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play. If you did, please give a thumbs up down below. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really worth it. Also, if you haven't rang that notification bell, ring that notification bell so you guys can stay notified whenever new packs come out just like this and ever we jump on them. And I hope you guys will follow me in the next one. So guys, I will see you guys then, as always. Thanks for watching.